the committee what you have done as a county government because the stories that we hear out there is that the reason we have uh, garbage collection problems in Umoja, uh, Umoja 2, in Ako, in places like Kangemi, is because these contractors, these ones, are sabotaging you or they are on strike. So this is the, I'm telling you, yes. okay. so that, is, a big that, issue. That, that is very true. It's a big issue. That's why, that's why, chairman, you know you come from Mandera. I am from Nairobi. Allow the governor to tell us, because people ask me these questions. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I know where he lives. There's no problem of garbage there. I know where he lives. <laughs> so, Chair, allow, allow the governor, please, just for the, for the sake of people of Nairobi, let him explain what is going on in garbage collection. First, uh, the governor, is the ruling I gave you very clear, so that at least we move from that part. Then you can respond on the issue of the follow-up question in your closing remarks. Chair, yeah, the ruling on uh, the first two issues yeah. is uh, is clear in terms of the deal of transfer. In fact, our response on the whole issue would have been all these bills are to be sorted at the state house. We can talk about value for money, what is going on, etc. But just for the record, all pending bills of NMS are sorted at the executive office of the president and not the Nairobi County government. No. Kindly do not explain yeah, okay. because okay. I've, I've ruled already. So, so we shall, now, we shall, in your closing remarks, we shall give the documentation and that if, you have asked for. If, <laughs> yes, if yeah. you want this in writing, the well, that would be good. The technical team will write oh, right. to you in what we need from you okay. in all the statements. That but in your closing remarks, can you respond to uh, maybe, that follow up question? That maybe I can, I, can, I can just give a highlight, and uh, if you want a more comprehensive response on that, I can also issue it. Yeah? When you look at these bills, this is what has been happening in the city of Nairobi. That solid waste management has been about money. It has been about business. When you got in, we resorted to change that model. Because this is not sustainable. The amount of money being paid out to these contractors, whether it is high of machinery, whether it is collection from certain areas, is not sustainable. In fact, what we've done, Chair, is number one, we started in building our own internal capacity. We've acquired machinery. We're increasing the, our fleet. I have 24 brand new refuse compactors that are coming out in the next few days. We, we got uh, how many tippers were there? 24 new tippers. And right now we're in discussions to actually get a fleet of, hand, of 200. Because we must do it as a county. The amount of money we pay is enough for us to, to have it. What we want to do, secondly, we increased our human capacity. We had 3,500 young people in what we call the Green Army. If you go around the city, you will see them. You will see them collecting, you know, clearing the drainages, doing the, you know, you saw them doing that. The employees of Nairobi County Government. Because you must deal with the human resource and the equipment and the fuel to keep it going. The next stage we are going to chair is we are setting up a standalone agency of waste management. Just like Johannesburg has what they call Pick It Up. It's a company that does waste management. Uh, Lagos has the La, uh, Lauma, Lagos Waste Management Authority. We want to set up a Nairobi Waste Management Authority that then looks at the entirety of waste management, circular economy, waste to energy. We have signed with the China National Electric and Engineering Company a project to, 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 to produce 45 megawatts of energy from our garbage. This has been discussed for decades. It has never been able to be implemented. We are the ones who have gone to that level. But that authority, just like we have Nairobi Water and Sewerage Company, which was a department before the city, will now have, you know, a director general and the requisite professionals who handle all aspects of solid waste management, who make sure that every household, like it was when we grew up in the city, we used to have a small fee, and there was this Camero that would come and collect uh, garbage on Thursdays and on Tuesdays, working with these CBOs, because a lot of the problems you talk about is because of these CBOs illegally dumped. And so the scheduling of when the trucks come to collect that garbage, the logistics needs an entity that can manage that. Material recovery facilities, which you want to do, sorting out of different types of garbage. So those with calorific value are used for, you know, for, for energy. Those that are organic can be converted into fertilizer. So we have an entire plan around that. But the reason why the city for the last two years had been struggling with this is because of these entrepreneurs. Excuse but me. It's all about uh, billions. Uh, no, companies. it's important, Chair. It's imp I, I just had him raise a question. Yes. And I thought it's important. I'm, I'm just mentioning. I want you to be honest. The reason why 
the system is not functional is because of the corruption. corruption. It's yeah. because of, not you. Yeah. Yeah. Governor, listen to me first. Yeah. Please listen to yeah, me. But you know, because there is a you lot I was... When you say you want me to be honest, it means I was not honest. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm honest. You are scattering around the issue. The fact is that you are not getting the requisite government approvals. You are not getting teams to run. You are not getting uh, um, the government to give you... Bear me. Please don't answer for me. My governor, thank you. I'm concluding. You are not getting the government to give you the support because there are too many people who have a vested interest on how the garbage is going to be collected in Nairobi. And that is the challenge of God. And I think we need to start talking about these things. My governor. Uh, uh, Chair, Chair, if you would allow, I pick it up from uh, where Senator Sifuna had uh, actually uh, mentioned. The question was the issue where we are in terms of the pending bills, uh, uh, the NMS and everything. The current situation has pending bills as far as garbage collection is concerned. Contractors and suppliers are not being paid. We are still, the county is still in the same, same mess. Apart from pending bill, we still have waste within the city. That is what we are asking as far as the current situation is concerned for the suppliers being paid. They have used their money to where they are, and they need to get paid to avoid the issue of the pending bills and also to make the city clean. As you've all, their slogan goes, let's, let, let's make Nairobi work. You should give full disclosure to the committee. No, I'm just asking as far as the pending bills are concerned. <laughs> give, give full disclosure of conflict. Are you, are you accusing the Senator no, no, of conflict? No, 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 no. We want to hear this. No, 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 no. Chairman, you cannot do that. Okay. Okay. Chairman, you will no, not chairman, you cannot do that. Let, let, let the German, truth come German, out. We in the Senate are in the week of truth. The week in the the of Nairobi is let him say. <laughs> because, wait, Honorable wait, Chair, wait, just one minute, uh, yeah. Honorable yeah. Alwan. Can now, I just say one thing, Chair? No, one now, thing. The, just one a minute. One minute, Onyoka. Edwin, Edwin Sefuna. One minute, Onyoka. Edwin, I will speak for I the only committee. I want an orderly way of expressing. That's why I've asked my colleagues to allow me to ask. Uh, can I have a copy of the standing orders, uh, please? Honorable yes. no, Clark. The standing orders require that if you are going to have pecuniary interest in a matter, as a member of a committee of the Senate, you must disclose that pecuniary interest. If the governor has made an allegation against a member of your committee of being conflicted in a matter, you as chairman must rule on that uh, position. You cannot wish it away. And in this week of truth in the Senate, we will not allow you, chairman, to get away with this. We will not allow it. Now, Senator Edwin, what I'm trying to rule on is order in terms of engagement. Now, you cannot only speak and expect the governor to have heard for him to respond to what you are trying to say. Okay? What I need is please request to be given an opportunity with the mic to say something so that the other person can say, but if all of you speak at the same time, so what are we executing? Yes, exactly. So what I was trying to guide, so you don't say the chairman rule on this. The issue just came up and all of you are talking. We are not in a marketplace. You know, we just want to make sure we have a very orderly way of executing. Yeah, almost all of so us are not comes, talking. Listen, what comes from you must be very clear so that it is understood clearly. So that everybody speaks. Who has anything else to add on the issue that has been discussed? Yes. Mr. Chairman, the statement made by this, the governor of Nairobi is profound. One of the supplementaries I was going to raise after him responding on the senator for Nairobi was, could he tell us the names of companies that are currently carrying out the important business of collecting waste? Why, Mr. Speaker? Because of what exactly he has said, conflict of interest. We have members of parliament who are doing business with the county of Nairobi. They want to make the governor of Nairobi to look bad. And even before we ask them to disclose their pecuniary interest, they are back home flashing the money, Mr. Chairman. And when we raise in our constitutional responsibility oversight questions, they have the audacity 
to offer us an opportunity to come and build our churches in the Luya nation. And therefore, if your vice chair is one such a member of parliament, let the governor set the record clear. We cannot run this country if we are going to be afraid here today to and then allow the children to come and come to kill us in parliament the way they did the other week. It is a serious matter, Mr. Chairman. Please let the governor be heard. Uh, the interjection actually came from you guys. It's not from the chair. <laughs> so <laughs> the governor was talking before interjections came. Now, Onyonka. Let, let him say, sir. He Very was good. saying something. Very good. <laughs> Sen okay. Chair, do you know why I'm insisting on this? Because I'm one of the people who's accused of doing business with the county of Nairobi when I actually do not. So it is important. If the, if the governor has not mentioned any name, but it's a good opportunity because I've heard people saying I'm also a garbage collector, <laughs> that I have pending bills in Nairobi that they are being paid through the back door. I want this thing to be cleared. If there are members of this committee or members of the Senate or National Assembly doing business with the county government of Nairobi, this is the opportunity. Because this week, this week, this week is very different from any other week, Chairman, and we must bring this matter to a close. Now, Honorable Members, before I give the Governor to respond to the issues as requested by the Members, in the interest of managing time, this will be the last interjection. I will allow him to respond and we are closing at that. Are we in agreement? Yes. yes. Fantastic. Moshmoa, Governor, you've had them clear and it's loud and clear. Yes. And uh, the last two days, the Senate has been doing what is called uh, a moment of self-reflection. That's good. You have an opportunity to say everything and anything that you want to say because you've been given an open check to make a statement. Over to chair, chair, chair um, where I was, um, was, first of all, in addressing uh, the issue of management of... Sorry, just before you conclude... As because you gave a very good uh, plan, yeah. m uh, my interest on behalf of Nairobi residents is in the meantime, in the short time, yeah. what are you doing to make sure that the city is kept clean? In the, include yeah, that, yeah. because I just went to Feather Dandora route and I was very embarrassed yeah. and I was attending a burial in that area. So in the in the short term, despite the challenges, what are you doing? Over okay. to you. Chair, Chair I think I think um, I've explained what the challenge had been in the issue of solid waste management. And uh, Senator Onyonka, you know, has described it how he sees it. It's a lot of this interest. And I've said that the county needs to be able to have the full capacity to collect and process solid waste. And that is why we are investing in equipment. We are moving into that county uh, agency, uh, Nairobi, and you'll help me find even a good name for it, but Nairobi Waste Management Authority. If you look during your time, just Google the Joe, Joe Bag or Lagos and see how it is structured. It is really, Nairobi has gone into that place because collection of close to 3,000 tons um, of garbage a day is in itself an enterprise, you know. And so that is the, the direction we're moving towards. In the meantime, it is really about, uh, number one, resources. For number one, servicing our own fleet, you know. So you need to service your fleet in terms of fuel, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, uh, spare parts, CTC. And number two, you need to make sure that those who you're still contracted for certain areas are to be paid. Now, without proper or regular exchequer disbursements to counties, what we collect as our own source revenue is then fully dedicated to paying salaries because our salary is around 1.4 billion, you know. And so if we're in a situation like we are today where, uh, before last week, counties had not gotten uh, exchequer for three months, then the operations and maintenance then suffers, you know. It suffers. And so that timely expenditure, you know, of, of I mean, uh, uh, releasing of exchequer then sorts out because the equipment is there, but you need to be able to pay for fuel, you need to be able to pay... Uh, you know, the contractors. And the reason why I interjected at that point was Senator Tabitha was then almost shouting about current contractors without disclosing the facts that they are. Now, I am not the registrar of businesses, so I don't know uh, beneficial ownership. 
But I will tell you, senators and MPs actually push for certain businesses to be paid. You know? That is true. Senators and MPs push for businesses to be paid, contractors to be paid, lawyers to be paid. You know, I will not mention names because that is not why I'm here. But there is, there always is that pressure. This week I've been telling people because they're panicking at the close of the financial year that the 4.3 billion shillings you're spending in major. I, I even feel pity for my CAC finance and uh, CFO because to, everyone is on their phones. Because everyone wants their company paid. You know? And so, when you, Senator, you're asking that, I wanted you, because I know the standing orders, you need to declare whether you have interest in any company that is doing that, uh, instead of pontificating here about whether that problem is a problem that is facing the, the city today. But that would be fair. You know, it, it would be fair for you to be able to, to, to declare it. So I've not gone to the registrar to know if that company belongs to you, but you have been asking for payments for certain companies. You have introduced me to people close to you who are owners of those companies. Just be open. And tell members, yeah? I don't know if you have a pending bill in this list. In fact, I would like to see whether your company is one of them here. I would go through it and see whether it is one of them. But in Nairobi County Government, you know you know what your company does, you know? Senator Sifuna has been accused of owning a garbage, uh, is it a solid waste company? I don't know of any. And he has never asked me for a payment of a solid waste. But if you had, you know, that... <laughs> no, done. So, so you know, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, in, in, instead of using this opportunity to try and uh, paint the county as if it is not working, Senator, be fair, you know. Appreciate, you're a, you're a leader in Nairobi as well. Appreciate the challenge, just how the, the substantive Senator said, yes, there's this problem we've seen in certain areas. Why is it not sorted? And I'm telling you, look, if we don't have exchequer releases, because we have to pay contractors, most of it goes to pay salaries. The vehicles need to be fueled. Those contractors need to be paid. But we're moving into that, not just circular economy, because most of our, 60% of, of our trash in Nairobi is organic. You know, a lot of it can actually be dealt with at the household level. The circular economy, the material recovery facilities, you know. Um, and, and, and so I would love to have another opportunity to come explain to the people of Kenya and Nairobi how this city is going to be clean and going back to that business. We're the only country who has hired 3,000 people, 500 of our young people. Many of them, in fact, we thought that many of them would uh, quit after the first few months because, you know, when you employ, people bring, you know, their friends or whatnot. But they have stuck to it. They do an amazing job. But then you'll find that they have removed the trash. It stays by the road and it stays there for a long time because then the trucks don't have fuel. And they don't have fuel because the collections that we're making, and I'm very proud with this, we've collected 12.8 billion, never done by a county before. This year we're actually going to hit the 20 billion. We're doing regularization of, 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 of buildings. We're going to do a section of properties. We're going to get to 20 billion shillings. In fact, we'll... <laughs> Too many things, you know. That's why the finance committee look look at the financial statements of the county, you know. And so, and, 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 and so that's a, that's a direction. You have a minute to conclude. And that's a direction we're going. Chair, my response on uh, because you've addressed those two issues very quickly. On the third one, the reason why Floka has not been affected in Nairobi was because of the lack of uh, climate change uh, legislation um, in the county. No, no, yeah. That, on that one, I have given you the chance to respond in okay. two weeks. Okay. That's, all, that's all right. That's so all right. I was only saying in your closing remarks, you have a minute. Okay. Uh, because I've, I've uh, controlled the members not to ask yeah. follow-up questions. And I'm happy whatever that uh, he ask, uh, you were asking has been responded to. Chair, chair. And Senator Sifuna, uh, he just clarified that he's not the registrar. Uh, so he has not managed to check whether you have some interest or not. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, no, but, but yeah, you would know interest based no, on the, li the or, line or, uh, Anyway, that was on a lighter road. <laughs> so, yeah, chair, in because he must have been really lynched for him to come up and uh, try and put that issue across. I've never even had that allegation. But chair, in, in conclusion, um, the county government of Nairobi is as interested, and I'm, I'm happy you said that you always get to the logical conclusion of matters. We're interested in the logical conclusion of these NMS uh, issues. Because, uh, Chair, money was used for projects that are not concluded. The people of Nairobi can't benefit from it. The county can't take over those, uh, those uh, projects until they, have, until they have concluded. So so I hope that in the next meeting we can also have them um, to, to, so, so that we, we do it. Chair, can I assume that we're meeting in two weeks or...?
it has been it has been directed and you will have a written communication on the date in two weeks time uh, i'm putting my calendar 18th yeah, of july in two weeks time you'll have a letter that will follow up before end of day tomorrow oh, to uh, that effect actually chair i would ask that we 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 consult on on the date uh, kindly that's not a problem. Because I've just seen that is a week. Uh, I, I told my senator I'm, I'm in a Bloomberg Harvard uh, class from the 15th uh, now, in New York. Now, that is not so a we problem. Can More or less within two weeks plus or minus a few days. That is fine. Moshua uh, Governor Karibu with your team, and I'm happy we've engaged. This is going to help you in terms of whatever engagement we are doing as Senate in order to make sure you have a systematic way of doing what you are doing. And Nairobi City County is able to realize its potential. Uh, when you are invited, Nawe Pia Jikakamue Kufika or Katu Natea. Otherwise, I just want to say Karibuni Sana and you are free to leave as we conclude the meeting. Karibuni. Mkutano Ajaisha Mkutano Mwachilio again Kaa Yes Okay Honorable members There being no any other business The meeting stands at Jordan